What up guys, Gangsta Prankster here, bringing you the weekly wrestling review for February 4th. Welcome to the show. If you're new to the show, this is where we talk about everything pro wrestling, from news, reviews, to predictions. We talk about it all. So if you're a wrestling fan, welcome to the show. What are we going to do on the show today? Let's discuss. First, we got reviews for the Royal Rumble, Raw, SmackDown, Impact, Ring of Honor, and a little bit of wrestling news. So let's get started right away. First, we got reviews for the, uh, the Royal Rumble, which happened last week. Um, I enjoyed the Royal Rumble. I thought it was a good pay-per-view. You had some good matches. You had the Royal Rumble match, which is my it's my favorite pay-per-view ever. Um, just it you never know what's gonna happen, and you had some moments like that in the Royal Rumble, and that's what makes the Royal Rumble so much fun and exciting to watch. So uh, let's go through the the um, matches real quick. First, we got Daniel Bryan versus Mark Henry versus Big Show World Title Steel Cage match. Uh, it was a good match. Daniel Bryan wins. Next, we've got Natalia, Beth Phoenix, and the Bellas in a eight-man tag match against Kelly Kelly, Tamina, Eve, and Alicia Fox. Pretty good match. Beth, Natalia, and the Bellas win. Uh, next, we got John Cena versus Kane. Uh, they had a good match. No one wins. So they start brawling, and the ref counts out the match, and uh, they end up brawling backstage. Kane takes out Cena for like a couple minutes, and then he goes into Zack Ryder's dressing room. And uh, brings him to the ring. Uh, Eve tries to stop Kane from attacking Ryder. But Kane gives Ryder a tombstone. He tries to go after Eve. or Yeah, he tries to go after Eve. And then Cena tries to make the save. But uh, he gets choke slammed. So, I thought it was a good match. I thought there was going to be like a, a stipulation added to this. But they'll probably have one at the next match they have. So, it'll, it's good to see that they're continuing this. Uh, next, we got Brodus Clay versus Drew McIntyre. It was an okay match. Brodus, Brodus wins. And uh, last, uh, the main event, CM Punk versus Dolph Ziggler, WWE title match. This was a really good match. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was a great way to like go into the Rumble. You had back-to-back -back really good matches, basically. You got this match. They, I don't know. I really enjoyed this match. I thought it was really good. Uh, Punk ends up winning and uh, retaining his WWE title. And then next we got the 30-man Royal Rumble. Really good match. Um, as usual, Royal Rumble is always fun. It's always going to be a good match. Uh, the last two participants were Sheamus and Jericho. They had a good back-and-forth little match until Sheamus wins and uh, is the new the new Royal Rumble winner and future main, uh, main eventer of WrestleMania. So let's quickly go through all the participants that were in the Rumble. Um... So uh, the people I say are gonna are in this order. So first we had Miz. Uh, he had a good showing in the Rumble. He lasted about 45 minutes, and um, he didn't end up winning. Uh, Alex Riley, he's whatever. Our Truth, whatever as well. Cody Rhodes, um, he had a good showing as well. He made it pretty far. Uh, Justin Gabriel, Primo, Mick Foley, he was in there for a little bit. And then we had uh, our, our Alberto, Rodri Alberto Rodriguez, Alberto Del Rio uh, come in and kind of like act like Alberto Del Rio. And that was fun. Or did I say that right? We had Ricardo Rodriguez come out and act like Alberto Del Rio. And this was a fun moment in the Rumble. Uh, next we got Santino Morella, Epico, Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston had a really cool spot in the Rumble. Uh, it's very similar to John Morrison's spot last year where he hung on to the barricade. So what Kofi did was he he got pushed out or something, and then he did a handstand, and he like handstanded his way to the steel stairs and made it back into the ring. So that was a little cool moment for Kofi. Uh, Jerry Lawler, Ezekiel Jackson, Jinder Mahal, Great Khali. Uh, Great Khali, good to see him back, but it looks like we're going to be seeing a little bit more of him than I'd like, and I'll talk about that when I talk about SmackDown. Uh, and then we got Hunico, Booker T, Dolph Ziggler, Jim Duggan, Hacks Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He was, that was good to see. Um, we had Michael Cole. We had Karma. Good to see Karma back. Rumor going around she'll be returning shortly, which is good to see. Uh, you know, she, she's she been out for a year pretty much. You know, she had a kid and she's going to get married soon. So, uh, everything's looking good for Karma. Uh, next we got Sheamus. You know, he won the Rumble and stuff. Next we got Road Dog. Oh, that was fun. He got a huge pop from the crowd. Man, it was so good to see Road Dog. 
uh, it was just, it was fun. It was fun to see him in the ring. Um, next we got Jay Uso, Jack Swagger, Wade Barrett, David Otunga, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, and Dolph Ziggler. Chris Jericho on Big Show. I already said Dolph Ziggler. Um, so yeah, those were all the participants. It was a fun rumble. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing Road Dog. I thought that was really fun. He just, ah, uh, he's, he's still entertaining to watch. Like, <laughs> it was fun seeing him in the rumble. I don't know if it's like, oh, because we haven't seen him in a long time. But, I don't know. I really enjoyed him being in the rumble. So, next we talk, let's talk about, um, WWE. WWE Raw. Uh, but before that, I definitely recommend checking out the Royal Rumble. It was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. So let's talk about Raw next. We got starts out John Laurinaitis comes out talks about being uh, interim GM and says he's made mistakes, but you know he thinks he's gonna keep his job and whatever. He then announces the Raw Elimination Chamber match. So it's gonna be Punk, Jericho, Ziggler, Kofi, Miz, and our Truth. That's a pretty good, pretty good um, elimination chamber. I prefer the SmackDown one. I think it looks a lot better. But we'll talk about that later again. Uh, CM Punk comes out and starts singing. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye to John Laurinaitis. Daniel Bryan comes out and he has a good back and forth with uh, CM Punk. And they're going to have a match later. And then Sheamus comes out and he said he says he hopes uh, Laurinaitis gets fired. And he still has to choose who, uh, who to face at WrestleMania. Uh, first match we got Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler. Good match. Orton wins. Next, we got Tyler Rex versus Brodus Clay. Okay, match. Brodus wins. Next, we got CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan, which is a, it was a good match. I definitely recommend this. Definitely check this out on Raw if you missed it. Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk. Good fucking match. Um, good match. Daniel Bryan wins after uh, Chris Jericho comes out. He shoves Daniel Bryan. That uh, triggers the DQ. And then uh, he gives Punk a code breaker. So... Kind of setting up a feud, maybe going on to WrestleMania. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, next, we got Mike Tyson is the next person announced for the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, this is cool. You know, I, I think it's the best Hall of Fame uh, person that they've ever inducted. I don't know if they did Andy Kaufman. If they haven't done Andy Kaufman, he should be number one. But uh, Iron Mike Tyson, you know, he had a big part of the Attitude Era. That CM Punk, or not CM Punk, that Stone Cold uh, DX thing. So, um, so yeah, he he had a Im more important role than just, you know, coming in and having a match at WrestleMania or whatever. So, I like this. I like this. Um, next, we got Eve versus Beth Phoenix at Diva's title. Or, no, no. We got Kofi Kingston versus Miz. Pretty good match. Kofi wins. Now we have Eve versus Beth Phoenix. Divas title match. Okay match. Beth wins. Uh, after the match, Kane appears on the Titan Tron uh, and tries to turn Eve on Cena. Kane comes out, but before he can do anything, Cena comes out and starts brawling with Kane. Uh, Cena's about to F you uh, Kane through the announce table, but Kane escapes. That was interesting. Um, next, we got the ending segment. Between John Laurinaitis, he comes out and uh, says he's done a great job as GM. And he's not afraid for his job. Triple H comes out and him and C and Laurinaitis go back and forth. Uh, Triple H says, you know, Laurinaitis, you want to do, we want to save your job. Join the Kiss My Ass Club. And then Laurinaitis gets on his knees. Triple H says, oh, you're a freak, whatever. Anyways, let's get to the point. Triple H makes it seem like he's about to fire Laurinaitis. But before he could do that, dong. You know, Undertaker comes out. And, um... Undertaker comes out, he stares down Triple H and looks at the WrestleMania sign, and uh, Triple H just walks up. So I have a huge problem with this. Why is Undertaker challenging a guy he already beat at WrestleMania twice? Why are you going to challenge him for a third time? You have nothing to prove. You beat him twice already. You know, face a guy like Sheamus. He's hot right now, you know. He, what, what I'd like to see from this, I mean... Okay, Undertaker and Triple H, they'll definitely have, like, a really good match. You know, no doubt about it. But what I'd like to see Undertaker for his last WrestleMania match, let him elevate one of these younger guys, a Cody Rhodes, a Miz, a, a Wade Barrett. Let him, you know, elevate them to the next level. You know, even if they lose, that's still huge. You were in a match at WrestleMania against The Undertaker. That's fucking ginormous. So... 
I just, you know, it's probably going to be Triple H and Undertaker again. I would like to see, you know, either a Wade Barrett or a Miz or a Cody Rhodes or whoever, Dolph Ziggler, who else, whoever you want to put in there. Just, like, have someone else in there to, like, help elevate, you know, build your younger stars. Especially if this is Undertaker's last WrestleMania. He's about to go 20-0 and 0 if he wins. It's like perfect for him to retire. He's not gonna retire 19 and one. That'd be just fucking absurd. So, I I'd like to see you know a, a Wade Barrett or a Dolph Ziggler, someone who can actually use the match instead of you know. I don't know. I'd like to see a younger talent get elevated. So that's about it. Uh, next we got TNA Impact. This was TNA's first Impact out th outside the United States. It was in the UK. Uh, the setup looked good. There was lots of people in the arena, so it looked like a good, decent TNA show. You know, it didn't. It wasn't in the fucking uh, Impact Zone where it's the same fucking people every fucking month or every taping, whatever. So it was good to see. You know, brand new audience. They were in the UK. The fans were excited to see it. So that was fun. Uh, it starts out with Bobby Roode and Bully Ray. They come out and brag about talking uh, about taking out Jeff Hardy last week. And then they call out James Storm. Storm comes out, and then Sting comes out, and Sting says, that against all odds, there'll be a four-way between Hardy, Bully, and Storm and Rude. Then Sting says uh, Storm will be will take on Rude and Bully Ray tonight in the different matches, like different one-on-one -on -one matches. So first match, we got Samoa Joe and Magnus versus Crimson Matt Morgan. It was a Buckingham brawl match. Uh, just some tag match with some weird fucking rules. It was a pretty good match. Magnus and Joe win. Uh, which I thought was really interesting. The crowd booed the shit out of Morgan and Crimson. Like, the heels were the faces and the faces were the heels. Well, the faces weren't the heels, but the crowd did not want to see Morgan and Crimson. Like, they fucking booed the shit out of them. While, like, Magnus and Joe, they got fucking huge reactions from the crowd. Um, next, we got Eric Bischoff comes out and he calls out his son. Garrett comes out. They go back and forth and stuff until Garrett gets a call from his trainer who says he's here and wants to see Eric later. Of course, late. Of course, it's later. Let's drag this shit out as long as we can. You know, the crowd was not into this at all. Um, the crowd just booed the shit out of this. No one gives a shit. So let's just move on with this. Um, next, we got Austin Aries versus Mark Haskins. Pretty good match. Aries wins. Um, one thing I gotta say, if this wasn't in the UK, we'd probably never seen Haskins. I remember a couple months back, I remember seeing an article where they signed Mark Haskins. We've never fucking seen him since. I think it was just, I don't know if they signed him, or I don't know what the, the contract is between them, but I would have liked to seen him more on Impact, but I don't even know if he's part of the roster. I don't know who the fuck's part of the roster, but um, during the match, he did a shooting star press, and fucked up the landing it was scary uh it reminded me of like lesnar's shooting star press from wrestlemania 19 so hopefully mark haskins is okay that was like it was really sick um next we got james storm versus bobby rude good match uh rude wins after the match of bully attacks storm and sting makes the save next we got tara versus gail kim pretty good match tara wins and uh, garrett bischoff comes out and is about to reveal who his trainer is but his father interrupts Eric Bischoff and Gunner come out and try and intimidate Garrett. Hulk Hogan comes out and he's uh, Garrett's trainer and stuff and he takes out Gunner. And he's about to take out Eric but Gunner drags him out. If Hulk Hogan was not the trainer, like, the crowd would just shit all over this. No one gives a shit about this, in my opinion. I personally don't. I don't give a shit about this father-son feud. I didn't care when Pope and Devon did it. Keep family shit out of this, you know. Just I I hate this feud. That's all I gotta say. Last but not least, we got James Storm versus Bully Ray. Good match. Storm wins. Uh, next, we got SmackDown. Teddy Long is in the ring and announces the SmackDown Elimination Chamber. It's gonna be Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, Wade Barrett, Big Show, and Mark Henry. Uh, Mark Henry comes out and says he doesn't like that idea and threatens Teddy Long. Uh, Long takes out Henry out of the Elimination Chamber. Henry touches Teddy Long's tie and Teddy freaks out and fucking suspends him indefinitely. That was funny. Uh, Henry come, or Henry's about to attack Teddy, but Sheamus comes out and takes out Henry. 
Uh, Sheamus gets on the mic and says he'll announce who he's going to challenge at WrestleMania after the Elimination Chamber. Cody Rhodes comes out and says no one cares about Sheamus. And uh, Teddy Long makes Sheamus versus Cody Rhodes have a match. So it's Sheamus versus uh, Cody Rhodes. Pretty good match. Sheamus wins. Next we got Hunico versus Justin Gabriel. Match never got started after Gabriel got jumped by Rhodes, Hunico, and Camacho. And Great Kali makes the save. What a clusterfuck this was, you know. You had Sheamus and then Cody and then Justin Gabriel and Hunico come out. And then Rhodes jumps Gabriel. And then Great Kali. Oh, this is a fucking mess. Um, next we got Santino Morella and Jim Duggan versus Epico and Primo. Pretty good match. Epico and Primo win. Uh, next we got Michael Coles in the ring to interview Daniel Bryan. Uh, Daniel Bryan says he's a good role model because he's a vegan. This whole vegan stuff is worse than WWE saying Twitter every five seconds. It's just like he's a bad guy because he's a vegan. This is dumb as fuck, you know? I hate it. I think it's so fucking stupid. Anyways, Big Show comes out and he and Daniel Bryan go back and forth. And then they start brawling. AJ comes out and stops the show from attacking Daniel Bryan. Next, we got Axana versus Tem- Axana and Tamina versus Beth and Natalia. Uh, it was a blah match. Beth and Natalia win. This whole thing with uh, Natalia farting backstage is so fucking stupid. I don't know what they're doing with Natalia. First, she loses the Tamina, Tamina, whatever you know. They're having a feud. But she loses to Oksana in like one second, like a couple weeks ago or whatever. Now she's having this farting thing. It's, oh, poor Natalia, man. I fuck, I feel so bad. Anyways, next, last but not least, we got Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett. No DQ match. Good match. Orton wins. Uh, backstage, Teddy Long tells Daniel Bryan he'll be facing Randy Orton next week. Then Bryan goes to the ring and starts celebrating. And Randy Orton just stares at him and is like, what the fuck is this guy doing? I would have been the same. It was like, what the hell? It was, it was so random. So fucking random. Uh, next, you got ROH TV. First match, TJ Perkins versus Tommaso Ciampa. Pretty good match. Tommaso wins. Uh, next, we got Grizzly Redwood versus Devin Storm. Match never got started. Truth Martini comes out and pays Devin Storm uh, for Michael Elgin to take his place. Michael, So it's Michael Elgin versus Grizzly Redwood. Uh, pretty good match. Elgin wins. And uh, last but not least, we got Davey Richards and Kyle O'Reilly versus Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander. This was a good match. Uh, Richards and O'Reilly win. And uh, next week, we're going to have the debut of Kevin Steen. He's going to make his in-ring debut. And uh, we'll have Jay Lethal and Mike Bennett in a ROH TV title match. So that should be fun. Um, So if you don't know how to watch Ring of Honor yet, go to ROHWrestling.com. Sign up for an account. Sign up for the free account. And they upload the show every Thursday. Go check it out. It is an awesome show. One about probably my favorite wrestling show to watch throughout the week. So that's if or no, we got some news. Not not trying to end it early yet. Not trying to end it early yet. That doesn't make sense. Um, anyways, we got a couple news things. Uh, so WWE is trying to get into this YouTube thing. And they've made a, you know, they've got Zack Ryder's Z True Long Island story thing. And it's very successful and stuff. So WWE's mentality is like, we should do some more of these, you know. So they have eight new shows. It's called Super, one, I'm going to list them all off. So we got Superstar Toys, Outside the Ring, Are You Serious, Inbox, Download, Santino's Foreign Exchange, Backstage Fallout, and WWE Presents. Um, I think it could be interesting. I watched Inbox. I watched, uh, something where they answered questions. I watched Santino's show, and I watched the Usos make some dish, some food. And, uh, it was a pretty cool show, you know? It's, you get to see this, the wrestlers in a different light, you know? Not like, um, like, Daniel Bryan's like this dickhead on TV, but on the show, he was, like, laughing and giggling and stuff and just having fun. So, it's, like, it's a good way to see the wrestlers you like out of their element. So, I I don't know. It was it was okay for what it was. You know, I don't know what it's supposed to be or whatever, but it's fine. 
And uh, next, last but not least, we got CM Punk will be having his own biography DVD coming out, which uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm actually looking forward to it. You know, he was on Colt Cabana's uh, Art of Wrestling podcast, and uh, he was talking about how, you know, WWE's, like, giving him full creative control over this DVD, and he's going to have his friends on it. The way that he made it sound made this DVD sound amazing. You know, he's got full creative control, and we know when Punk gets his ways, he is... He's a star, you know. (laughs) I'm really looking forward to this DVD It sounds like it's going to be entertaining as hell. So, um, yeah, definitely look forward to that soon. So that's it for the Weekly Wrestling Review, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week where we have uh, reviews for Raw, SmackDown, Impact, and Ring of Honor. And predictions for TNA Final Resolution. And one last thing. If you're wondering, you know, where can I find out some of this wrestling gossip, some of this wrestling news? You know, I I want to know a website where I can find wrestling news. Well, I got the thing for you. Go to 123wrestling.co.uk. If you missed any what I just said, it'll be in the description, so go check it out there. But 123wrestling.co.uk, uh, it's a great wrestling website. You know, keep track with all your favorite wrestling news and uh, just find out what, uh, what's going on in the world of wrestling. So I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week, and uh, take care. Peace out.